Hello, this is Dr. Park, an orthopedic surgeon from Korea. Today I'd like to share my method for managing mallet finger injuries, particularly those with large fracture fragments. While extension block pinning is a widely used technique, it's deceptively difficult due to the precise placement required for the extension block wire. If the wire is inserted too distally, the distal phalanx may undergo volar subluxation. Conversely, if placed too proximally, proper reduction of the fracture becomes challenging, often resulting in multiple attempts that may further fragment the mallet fracture. Here's the technique I use for successful and efficient reduction and in fixation. Initial K-wire placement. Begin by inserting a K-wire into the distal phalanx, stopping just before it exits the volar cortex. Cut the K-wire halfway using wire cutters. Reduction with towel clip. Using fluoroscopic guidance, employ a towel clip to carefully reduce the fracture fragment. Ask your assistant to hold the clip securely to maintain reduction. K-wire advancement for joint fixation. Advance the pre-placed K-wire to stabilize the distal interphalangeal joint. Secondary K-wire insertion. Attach the previously trimmed K-wire to the wire driver and gently guide it over the towel clip, advancing it across the fracture fragment and into the middle phalanx. Penetrate only the near cortex at this stage. Final fixation. Remove the towel clip and apply downward pressure to the mallet fragment as you fully advance the K-wire through the far cortex. This technique allows for efficient and precise reduction and fixation, minimizing the risk of fragment comminution. Thank you for watching, and I hope this approach proves helpful in your practice. See you in the next video.